My name is Margaret Ann Windsor, <clears throat> and I was kidnapped in 41 and brought to Moulton, Alabama, given the name of a twin uh, that was dead, killed about a week or two before I was brought there. So this was planned. The other twin, Carl, uh, that was Peggy, I just mentioned. They gave me her name. So Pe uh, Carl was killed a month after birth, and they were about a year older than me. Uh, anyway... Uh, the Illuminati took down my father, Edward VIII, and uh, he never married Wallace Simpson. In fact, uh, the Queen of England in '36, when my father was king and should have remained, this was an illegal takedown, a plot to take him down because he wouldn't take orders from the Illuminati. So they installed someone who would. They installed the illegal monarch, George VI. Thus, Elizabeth is a high-ranking member of the Illuminati. She doesn't represent the British interests. She's a war criminal. She's always known about my kidnapping, me, my father, and my mother, Claudia Ruth O'Keefe, from Madison, Wisconsin, sister to Georgia O'Keefe, the artist. I'm... Did a book. I only found out about my kidnapping in 83 after I was in a political campaign to replace Dr. Congressman Larry McDonald, who I had written about in a medical malpractice book in seven, well, 76 till 80, um, April Fool Day, when I was almost killed. And the very doctor they were involved in, and uh, by all means, I shouldn't have walked away from it. Uh, they meant to kill me more than once, but that time should have really done it. Well, the other time, too, but on the 18-minute gap of the Watergate tapes that were subpoenaed, and uh, Henry Kissinger's on the other end of it, giving orders to Victor Gonzalez and uh, six other doctors. Yeah, I was about six, in a circle across the hall, uh, that if my country or family didn't come through with the demands, uh, you should see what they were going to do to me and, and the condition I was in at the time. So anyway, I wanted to uh, get to this, though. So, uh, what I know about Michael Thevis, I'd for, I had really not thought about it in a long, long time because this is a period of time I was trying to think I, because of my involvement in doing the book, I had a letter from the FBI uh, June the 23rd of 1979. And it was on my father's birthday. I, at the time, I didn't remember my kidnapping, though, and hadn't found out about it. So I don't want, don't want to elaborate on this. I wanted to get some other... Um, because I was down at the FBI office on and on several times, had a letter from them, ongoing investigation, national security involved, by, issued by U.S. Attorney William Harper of Atlanta. And uh, James Baker was the assistant U.S. attorney. But now I want to turn it to this because uh, along in this, I know now that the FBI were always there, okay? So I want to focus on what I know about Michael Thevis if I can remember. Um, I, I can remember something I can't put up here. Um, I hope that all of this is told. I really do. It certainly needs to be the lies and the hell and crimes committed. At the moment, I'm going to say this. Um, remember reading about Michael Thebus and his arrest? And by the way, I want to say that the attorney that represented Thebus, at least at first in Atlanta. I believe Mary Welcome went to work for that group later on, um, perhaps after the Wayne Williams trial, where well, the black children were killed in Atlanta. And um, I'm just going to say this. My name is Margaret Ann Windsor, Victoria II, the heir to the British crown. I am the Queen of England, legally, the minute I was born. But my name's Margaret. <laughs> Don't confuse it with Elizabeth's sister, who's a criminal just like her. But anyway, Wayne Williams, when he was found and arrested, uh, he was going to Overbrook Apartments. He had a note in his pocket to meet with Margaret. That's where I first lived in Atlanta the second time. I mean, the children were born there, but uh, the second time. 
in, I guess I went over there in 1968, we moved back. So anyway, uh, they've redone a lot of things, <laughs> uh, replaced it with lies or deleted it. I spoke with Mary Welcome after April Fool Day, and I was almost killed. I worked for the district attorney, Fred Simpson, Madison County, Huntsville, Alabama. Worked for Doyle Duke, and um, anyway, uh, Clary Smithers. It's called Golden Triangle, and I won't give background on that, or I won't get to where I'm going here. I called Mary Welcome, and I got put right through her, and she was working for that group that had uh, taken on the uh, Michael Thevis. I believe I'm correct there. Double check it. Um, because she became a, a partner, or I'm sure she was a partner, she became quite famous, and I think she's a nice lady. Anyway, I called her from uh, Golden Triangle, and I wanted to speak to her, and I thought, she's not going to believe me. I got on the phone, and I said, I, I told her who I was, and I said, I don't know if you'll believe me or not, but don't hang up on me. She says, oh, I believe you. And I talked to her a few minutes. She says, I'm going to send an attorney over to take a deposition, and uh, I don't remember uh, what she said later. If they, anyway, I was almost killed again. It was how. So I never saw her, and um, I, I put this up about Wayne Williams. It was even said by Maynard Jackson, the black mayor, and the uh, Lee Brown, who was a police commissioner there, on ABC, Good Morning America back then, just prior to his being arrested, that um, he didn't commit the crimes, that it was the mechanism used. Well, he they failed to say that the mechanism is mind control. So he was arrested, and I'm going into that, and maybe I shouldn't write at the moment, as given background to Michael Thevis. It was during that time period, though, uh, that Michael Thevis was arrested. And yes, his son was later kidnapped. And I've forgotten, <laughs> there's something, uh, it was in the press, I believe, too, that Michael Thevis was back and he was upstairs, had a room upstairs where something, the FBI either, I don't know, I don't know. I can't remember that part. But anyway, the part, I, I want to put this in here real quick, too, because there were the murders of two people, and there was a lane between, I'm trying to think, remember, this was in the paper, too, because these are murders that go back, and people should go back and look at them. It was two men. I don't think they were real estate but they were in a path that goes from Cobb County, and this is over to Roswell Road. And I know where it's at. I just can't explain it. It's been so long. I don't even know if it's still there. They were murdered. And they had, they had a connection here somehow. I can't remember it. What I do remember was um, some of the ins and outs of it, and that Michael Thevis, well, he's a porn. Okay, uh, and I don't think he's nice <laughs> at all, uh, but the point in this one is he, well, he his trial was moved to Florida, et cetera, et cetera, and I think, well, he got loose, He and they had to retry him, so they moved it back to Rome, Georgia, and here's what I'm going to get to here, so I get this up. In Rome, um... Uh, Bob Barkley was a friend of my husband's and of me, I guess, and I had known him for a while. In fact, he told my husband, my husband always knew who I am, my kidnapping, I know now. And um, he was told to marry me, and that that's it. So uh met Bob Barkley. Of course, Barkley is like Barkley used to be uh, Great Britain Bank anyway. Um and Barclay cigarettes had, well, I'm not going to say it. There was ads that ran after April Fool Day of 80 on most of the magazines through that area of Huntsville. Um, and it had the person I thought was Michael Keen advertising the Barclay uh, cigarettes. He's blonde and uh, curly hair. 
And, I mean, I knew right away. That's who I thought was Michael Ken, the special agent in charge. I only found out later because I met him. I was with him at a picnic and uh, in Piedmont Park where uh, some federal agents were there. Very nice to me because I've been treated like hell and killed so many times it's not funny what people have done. Um, so I want to get back to this. A friend of my husband was Bob uh, Robert Barkley, and he told my husband prior, my husband told me, this is prior to me finding out about my kidnapping in late 83, he said something about kidnapping, and um, his parents were in the news media, and he said he was kidnapped. Now, I don't know if that's true or not, or Bob always knew about my kidnapping and said some things connected. Now, I'd met Bob's wife. She died New Year's Eve. Um, uh huh. I'm just gonna say uh huh. How she died. If you've been listening to this, you know. Uh, she died with an aneurysm. Um, and Bob, I tell you when she died. Uh, Christmas Eve, when I was working for Forsyth and Kutcher, so. This would have been in 1977, I believe, I'm sure. Okay, so I went to her funeral. So Bob, they had a home, had a lake behind it, and later ex-governor, uh, former governor, Lester Maddox actually bought that home, and I met him briefly, very briefly. Kind of odd that he would, that was during the campaign in 83, by the way, when I put some boxes of information there, and I was shocked to see he lived in uh, the old Bob Barkley house. It wasn't old, but and then there was a lake behind it. Now back to Bob Barkley. His wife died, and Bob dated the girlfriend of Michael Fagan. And the next morning, or mornings, I don't know what went on, and it wasn't carried on that long, him being with her, uh, but she stayed at home, and she stole all his credit cards and everything. So, and she, he knew. Her, I guess Bob was supposed to know a lot, uh, or because she was Stevenson's girlfriend. So now then, there's a trial in Rome, Georgia, and my husband went with Bob. He was subpoenaed. Now whether Bob uh, testified, I don't remember. I, what I do remember was um, Michael Kean. The one that I call Michael Ken had curly brown hair, the one that was on the Barclay commercial. And um, I guess all I can say right at the moment, uh, <laughs> um, they don't usually, the media doesn't usually show, um, look and see if this is going up, doesn't usually show special agents or interview them. When Michael Ken, K E O W N, came out of the courthouse, they interviewed him and said he was Special Agent Michael Ken. He's the blonde. He's not the Michael Ken that was really in charge down there. The real Michael Ken, if you Google him, sometimes he was a little bit of a minister and he retired and he was always married and had kids, you know. So anyway, this the Michael Ken that who I thought he was, that was a Special Agent, I thought, that I'd met down at FBI headquarters, Piedmont Park, came out and was interviewed, um, had the blonde curly hair, the one that I knew. Okay, it what was said and done there at the Thevis trial, I've forgotten what happened to it, to be honest with you, because I was in a hell of my own at the time. I always have been, really. But he came out and they interviewed him, and... Um, they said that with, it was cryptic. I knew what they meant, but I don't know exactly what they meant. They said it would be over in Rome. Now, they were in Rome, Georgia, whether they meant Rome and Italy and the Pope and all this, because later when I start finding out about myself, it involves my father being taken down by character assassination, and I'm the heir to the crown, because my father uh, wouldn't go along with the Illuminati. Then you get into the illegal treaties because my father wouldn't sign them, and then they kidnapped me, and of course I certainly wouldn't have, and uh, I was too little, but and I wouldn't have anyway. Period. My father was um, 
taken down uh, illegally, carriage assassination. So it went into the global government being formed. Uh, if you follow the things that happened after my kidnapping and the takedown of my father, and of course they put in George the Sixth, who's illegal, the Illuminati did, uh, Elizabeth's father, and she's a high-ranking member, and they signed illegal treaties, uh, Winston Churchill and all of them did. They also burned the Windsor Files. My father was married to Claudia Ruth O'Keefe. He never married Wallace Simpson. I was born in 39. George the Sixth my uncle helped in my kidnapping with JFK. So I going back to Michael Thevis, there's some things, a couple things I know that are not funny. And this, that's all I can remember. And uh, this was kind of told indirectly, but being able to remember it, I think it was true. Um, I really can't think at the moment. There was so much that it was weird what I was led into finding out. And um, that's all I can say at the moment. I hope I have been helpful in it. Uh, and um, feel free to comment and I'll tell you what I can.